Okay, we went through and pulled some of Naomi's clothes that are just great fits, mm -hmm. classic pieces that need to stick around that we can, you know, throw in. It's timeless, stuff that's timeless. Mm -hmm. But then there's also these pieces in, and sometimes they need color. Color. Blue is the communication color. <laughs> And then sometimes there's pieces in your closet that are amazing pieces and they might come back around. So, you know, maybe there's a separate place in your house you can put something like this. I mean, this is, this is ready to come right back with Mad Men. And it's, it's actual. Um, it's an original. It's a 40s piece. It's actual true vintage. And then there's pieces that have something going on. Maybe it's putting you know, this top with another skirt and putting the skirt with a different top. Um, and then just recreating this top, you know, making, putting some wire in it, making it a stage piece, just giving it some, some oomph. What Melanie said earlier, over here, because you were saying that, you know, you figure out what neckline looks good on you. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the, actually the mark of a woman who kind of knows herself is when she finally figures out which neckline is most flattering on herself. And it's the easiest thing in the world to figure out because you get 10 of your favorite shirts, put them on, and see which one you look best in according to what the neckline is. Forget the color, forget the fabric, just to figure out what neckline. And if there's one that makes you look like your Aunt Donna, you have to throw it out. <laughs> Take one piece like this that would sort of be, you know, grandma-ish, maybe a little frumpy. And what we're going to do with it? Add it with jeans. pair of jeans. A slouchy top. Slouchy top. And then the skirt, we'll just wait and see. We're actually putting skirts in a row because the skirt's a skirt, you know, and you might need this texture, but we're definitely making a hem lunch. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, see this size price tag on it. I just love that. Mm -hmm. CBG. So what would you do with this? What did you say put? Oh, we were talking about putting like a little, finding a shrub that fits really tight up on the arms, a black, just tight shrub to go with it. Because this is elastic, and it's going to be figure-hugging. It's the Band-Aid style. Oh, yeah. So Band-Aid dress. Works for me. I have a section for speaking engagement outfits. And then there's this. <laughs> Which we need to try on for Opry Goes Pink. Achoo! <laughs> So it's all different sections, and then this is uh, the everyday stuff. So, and you threw out all my boots and all my. Oh, I see a pile. Yes, we see need over new there. Boots. We're doing all new boots and shoes, and here you will see <laughs> Naomi's selection of nail polishes that have all been in style at various times. <laughs> but now. But now, there are a couple of things that you can fall back on that actually, the, uh, a few staples that you can get away with and pretty much be in style no matter what. There's always the classic red, which is very big right now. Just a really nice uh, blue red. Oh no, don't do it. Yeah. I don't, go ahead. I go can't ahead. throw away nail polish because it ahead. always comes back. Well, you know, one oh, day, you can throw away that nail polish. Yeah. So, <laughs> I see a glitter that might not be. <laughs> you don't like the glitter? Let me tell you, I, what I use glitter for. I use glitter for when you are, t you have one minute and your toenail polish is chipped. Yep, that's when I use it. <laughs> I put glitter on there and it repairs. So I keep it around. And it's really hard. But don't to use chip. it on your these nails because you'll look like you're four years. I have a comb that. That what was I thinking? But don't throw that away. That's like that tangy lip color that oh, yeah, comes yeah, yeah, back. Yeah. Like that'll, I'll bet you, I'll bet you 10 bucks that by next spring, this is going to be the nail polish color. Oh, okay. I can see it. You right? Don't you it. think? Don't you think that, because it's like that, because that, the lip color that's just like this is just barely like coming out and all the major manufacturers are copying that, that old tangy lip color and this mm -hmm. is the identical. Everybody know what tangy is? No, tangy was the very first lipstick in like 1960, what, 50s? 50s. Something? That actually became a trend. And it smelled good. Yeah, and it was the very first one and it was this color. First thing and everybody I wore it regardless of skin tone. It was supposed to be the first universally flattering. And it had moisturizer uh, in it. It's the first thing I bought with my allowance. 
Miss Tangi looks. <laughs> New trends usually... are a really nice, a really nice classic American red. That's mm -hmm. a little bit of blue red. It should be uh, not matte, but it should not be a glitter. And then the other trend is to have a very deep, deep grapey, uh, grapey color that maybe has a little bit of sheen to it or not. It's fine, but you don't want to lean on the blacks right now. You want to be careful with the blacks, even though this is still, this is on its way out though, but it is great for gardening because it covers all the dirt. <laughs> and then, the actually the hottest color we don't have represented right here is a really nice mushroomy taupe lavender. It's, um, it's pretty great for all skin tones, surprisingly. And it's the, really the new neutral for fall. It's a it's a mushroomy taupe gray. With and my Chanel pale makes skin? with my pale skin. You like look at what you're wearing right now. Oh, it's yeah. a pale version of this kind it's of. It's my favorite color. Yeah. You call it eggplant. Well, this this down here would be more eggplant. But this, this is, is like lavender. Gray. You don't get to wear this color unless you're under fourteen. <sighs> So good. The funny part, it's all the same color lighter. that I'm throwing away. I'm free. I'm this free. Is clear. I hate throwing them out because they're nice. But yeah, go ahead. For you, you don't get to wear these anymore. Not even on your toenails, huh? Well, no. I, I think that one, wait a minute. You like it? No, I think it's there. Oh. <laughs> right there. Ah. Busted. I mean, there's something to be said for a nice nude nail. I mean, a nice nude nail. A nice nude nail. Yeah, my so husband. This is pretty bad. My husband doesn't understand all the nail salon. He said, "You know, I was just saying to my friend the other day at the football game. Whoa, well, did you see the nails on that chick?" We're going to the landfill. All right, you're good. Just there's a lot actually, of the same color. Brand. There's actually some of my clothes that they're taking home for their four-year-old daughters to wear. Costumes. <laughs>